so this is a place where king kong was filmed for sure this is very beautiful and this is called nin bin I am the motographer. In 2019, I embarked on the journey of a lifetime on the fantastic Indian-made Bajaj Dominar 400s, christened as the Exhibit B Dominar Creation Odyssey. The road trip went from New Delhi, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, and finally to the tip of Singapore and beyond to Sri Lanka. Here we go. This is the town of Win, V I N H, and uh, it's all decorated so beautifully. And, uh, seems that Christmas is early here, 25 days early to be exact. A lot of Christmas trees. We have seen right from Hanoi till here. This day was going to be a very long one for us as we were in central Vietnam and it was their peak rainy season. We were going to the city of Hue and as there were two different routes to Hue or Hue from Win, both equally beautiful, we decided to split the team with me and Manan riding together via the coastal road and Sunil going with the guide vehicle via the mountains. It looks like a Vietnamese cemetery. A burial site probably not sure I'll have to check with my guide It was raining particularly very hard in the mountains, the route that Sunil was taking, but the rains made it look even more beautiful. So right now it's raining here, and uh, but it's beautiful. The conditions are not really very safe, but beautiful. Look at this. We are going through the <coughs> rural parts of uh, Vietnam to the central Vietnam and it's just amazing. There are more than 450 kilometers to do today for me but uh, and uh, the total riding time it is showing as about 10 plus hours and on roads like this. It will be raining throughout so it's going to be a challenging ride today. So this is our third day in Vietnam and this Sculpture here is quite icon iconic because I mean it has taught us many things about Vietnam and uh, the socialism, the communism here. So first of all let me tell you about the Vietnam flag. The star has uh, five points, it's a five pointed star and each point represents a different class of the society. So one represents intellectuals, peasants, workers and the youth and uh, it also represents uh, the unity between them, especially the red in the Vietnam flag. It represents the bloodshed uh, in the war and during the struggle. So, uh, but if you see this monument, there is also the hammer and the sickle. So basically that is a communist uh, the flag. And the star over them represents uh, that they, they, the, the role of uniting the workers and the peasants and different people. It's very simple yet very complex uh, philosophy and uh, this actually is a very beautiful piece of art here which we luckily found because this is not a major city. This is actually what I would categorize at a, as, a, as, as a small, uh, very small town. But, uh, Vietnam is, has been very kind, it, it's a beautiful country, it's very developed. And I also found one more thing uh, yesterday that 
there are only around uh, i think 2 million registered cars in vietnam while there are around 40 million registered two wheelers and uh, it's no surprise because everywhere you go there are mostly 99% of them are step throughs and my god they are everywhere and uh, in hanoi i also found that lot of people have amazing cars over there we hardly saw any super bikes but the cars over there like mercedes um audi and you know i mean they were like top of the line porsches jaguars that really surprised me but of course that's a capital also but so we are still processing what we are seeing i mean we we haven't read about vietnam as per se but we are just processing what we are seeing experiencing ourselves and uh, telling you about it all right let's go look at this man this feels like heaven <laughs> all right so we are riding in vietnam and it's raining central vietnam is has a rainy season right now but the thing is that unbelievably there are so many towns like this i mean look at the development here and i mean very frankly i thought that vietnam would be one country which is less developed than india but this is like any western country i mean have a look at this the development here is unbelievable look everywhere big malls big buildings fancy cars and christmas here is celebrated apparently lot early because this is just the first of december a short break to tell you about myself in 2002 i founded xbhp which is india's most popular motorcycling platform and print magazine since 2006 i have been riding around the world on choices of the motorcycles and supercars Do check out the Exhibitory forums which are a great place to discover fantastic information on motorcycling in India. Also help us sustain ourselves by picking up a copy of the XPSP print magazine delivered to you at your doorstep if you are in India or available at one of the premium book stalls around India. You can also read the digital version online. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to the Odyssey. Guys, you have to look at this. I'm not sure if the camera is showing you what I'm seeing, but this is heavenly. This is out of this world. I'm here somewhere in Vietnam, Central Vietnam to be exact. And behind me is a US fighter jet which was probably shot down by the Vietnamese in the Vietnam War or the Second Indochina War which happened for 20 years from 1955 to 1975. And uh, apparently back then uh, Vietnam was divided into two, North and South. And North was against US and South America was supporting south so they didn't want communism and uh, the total war fatality count lies at around 3 million uh, approximately if i'm not wrong the exact num uh, number nobody knows and uh, the number which was standing out was around 85000 children who died so I don't understand why this mindless indulgence in in war. Not only Vietnam, the country of Laos was a surprise because it was the most bomb country in the world. Courtesy again, America, who carpet bombed the whole country so that the supplies 
uh, from Vietnam and vice versa and it's very complicated. Uh, but they dropped one full plane load, planes like these, of bomb every 8 minutes, 24 hours, 24 hours a day for 9 years. Can you imagine? And there are still 30% approximately bombs undetonated in Lao, which we showed you, which we covered. Uh, so, I don't think uh, that another war of any kind, world war, small wars, is a good idea. We already know that. We hope to enter into a very peaceful era now, without wars. But let's see what happens. We still have a uh, few thousand kilometers to go. So another of these jets here. So this one is the MiG-17. And long to the Vietnam Air Force. Wow. This is pretty interesting. Agri motor. Uh -huh. Looks like a tractor, but like a tank. Very interesting. Look at these boats. So this museum was an interesting one. And basically, it's a silent, peaceful uh, demo of the destruction that has been caused by war. And US dollar. Three thousand. US dollar. US dollar. Wow. India. Thank you. Like the spike. Wow. What a beautiful ride this is turning out to be. I'm very far from uh, my destination for today, which is the cap the city of Hue. And if I keep clicking like this, keep stopping like this. I don't think I'll be able to make it to the city before midnight but I can't help it I have to stop so many times to take pictures man this is so beautiful can't help look at this look at this how can you not stop here how can you not stop here <sighs> चलो कोई बात नहीं हिम्मतें मरदा मरते खुदा चलो The rain finally stopped by around evening and then we were able to ride faster and make up for the lost time. So guys, that in front of us is the world famous Pong Na cave. And uh, apparently it is the longest water cave or the river cave in the world. It's got, uh, it's about 7,700 meters long. The tourists are only allowed till about 1,500 meters but the scientists have gone too deeper much deeper inside and uh, so it's one of the major tourist attractions in the in Vietnam as well you have to take a ferry to reach to the entrance of the bo uh, entrance of the cave and then go inside uh, but right now we cannot because the entrance to the cave closes at 4 p.m. and it's already past 4 p.m. finally we reached the city of Hue which is a big city in central Vietnam and it was lit up beautifully day number five of our ride in vietnam and uh, where i'm sitting right now it's called uh, it's a city called hue in uh, central vietnam it is one of the most important cities in vietnam 
It was the seat of Nguyen dynasty, which ruled over a vast part of Vietnam. Also, it was the national capital from 1802 to 1945. And uh, behind me is the signature bridge for this city. It's called Co Trung Tren Bridge. I hope in, I hope I am pronouncing it right. But this place is so cool. This entire city is so beautiful. It is full of uh, monuments of historical importance. I wish we had a place like this in Delhi where we could you know, go with our families, friends, or maybe just alone and just chill, do nothing. Like here, people are walking uh, with their friends or just alone, you know, skateboarding, relaxing, just chilling without any worries. And it's so beautiful. The weather is so nice. So tomorrow we'll be starting our ride towards the Ho Chi Minh City. We'll be reaching Ho Chi Minh City day after tomorrow and from there we'll be entering uh, Cambodia. Oh, really looking forward to the next 4-5 days and uh, thank you Vietnam, you are so beautiful. Stay like this always.